Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be cleaning my crusty, dusty, musty kitchen. It's been a good while since I deep cleaned it. My stove is just gunked up with oil and food and it's disgusting, okay? <laughs> I have my counters to clean. I want to move my countertop dishwasher over some, put a load of that into the dishwasher, get that started, and clean my countertops, um, sweep the floor. It's really dirty in here. Look, I have this going on right here, all of that. That chicken is um, it's a pack of chicken breasts I have thawing up for dinner. I am going to be doing a cook with me either at the end of this video or in a separate video after this. So if you're not subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe if you like this type of content. So that's what that is. That's thawing up for dinner time. My stove needs cleaning. My countertops, I need to clear all that off. Put those dishes to get washed. Over here, my countertop dishwasher. I want to go ahead and move this over here. I think it'd be easier for me to work with when I do have one side of the sink to do dishes by hand. I can easily do it on this side. So yeah, that's my countertop dishwasher. Isn't it really cool? I love it. I just recently got it. It is seriously a lifesaver. Saves me a lot of time in this kitchen doing dishes. <laughs> and it works really, really good. I'm very pleased with it. So that's my countertop dishwasher. But yeah, y'all, this is my kitchen right here. This is my kitchen. If you can see it. <laughs> refrigerator and that's it it's a very small apartment kitchen I don't have cabinet doors so um I put some curtains down below on my bottom cabinets I cannot put curtains up here because my stove's right here but I might eventually do it on this side I will do a video on that eventually if I do do that but I'm going to go ahead and put this camera down and we're gonna get started okay so I need to take all these dishes out scoot this dishwasher over and load it up let's go ahead and do that
else supposed to do with this long <laughs> draining pipe? I think I'm gonna have to eventually get a rolling cart and move this portable countertop dishwasher on like a little tiny rolling cart from a kitchen. So whenever I need it, I can just roll it over here, put the tube in the sink and plug it in, but keep it on the cart. I think that would be a lot more easier. Oh, and I got like fruit flies in here if you see any fruit flies. But um, yeah, I eventually need to save up and get a like a tiny little rolling cart for my dishwasher. Yeah, because this is kind of scary to have it <laughs> sitting on a cutting board. Hopefully it just don't fall and break. Yeah. All right. I'm so distracted with trying to do this video. I forgot to add water. So let's add water to the tank um, so this thing can actually work. Okay, so it made that beep, and now I can go ahead and close this and hit start.
As you can see here, I'm just draining the grease from frying some pork chops from the night before. This is one of my least favorite things to do because I have to remember to save a jug. So I finally saved a jug to do that. So as you can see, I'm just draining that grease into this jug instead of my sink. You know, you don't want to clog your sink, so I'm just going to drain it in here and toss it in the garbage can. I drained all the grease and now I just have this, you know, the crumbs of it, I guess you would call it. That would not fit through the strainer into the jug, so I'm just going to get it out with a paper towel and toss it in the trash. Look at all of that, how gross. Oh my goodness, it was a lot of crumbs. No, that'll do it. Frying pork chops. I do love some fried pork chops. How many of you love some fried pork chops? I do. I love a good salty fried pork chop every now and then. They were really, really good. But then you're left with this mess to clean up. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just trying to get as much gunk out of that pan as possible to prevent all that stuff from clogging my sink. I have the Dawn dish detergent power wash. I'm going to spray that on here and just let it soak for a little bit. Get that nice and clean, let it soak up all that grease. And then we're gonna go ahead and scrub it really good later on. Okay, so here is my crusty, dusty, musty stove top. I'm sure many of you was waiting for this part to be cleaned. It is just caked on gunk on this stove, I tell you. <laughs> it's a serious mess. I do a lot of cooking, so it's really hard to clean it. Give it a good cleaning after every single dinner, you know, that I cook. So I have me a scraper tool. I love this little scraper tool. One is one side is like the sharp metal type and the other side's the more delicate plastic so you're not scratching your stove top. So just be really careful with it. I ordered this on Amazon and I love it. It came with several extra blades and it works really well to get dried crusted food off of your stove top. All right, I'm just trying to get some of the crumbs off here. I'm just using a paper towel to wipe the crumbs off. Try to get some of this layer of gunk off. <laughs> it's really nasty. I'm so embarrassed, but I figured I'd try to give this a shot making these types of videos because I know I enjoy watching them. So maybe some of you do. I have the Dawn Power Wash here. I love this stuff. This is going to help with a lot of this grease removal on my stove. So I'm going to be using this a lot. <laughs> 
and also i will have a more of a deeper clean with me video for the stove because because i had the great value walmart brand of the oven cleaner i will show you guys here in a little bit um i'm not sure when when we get to it but the great value oven spray cleaner it does not spray good so i should have just spent the few extra cents and got the name brand because i was trying to do a deep clean i just could not that great value spray cleaner for the oven did not work so next time i go to walmart i have to get the name brand spend a few extra cents and get that i have this clorox spray i love me some clorox spray on my white countertops because if there's any stains like coffee stains or anything that's staining my countertop this clorox spray will get it off just let it sit for a couple of seconds and it'll wipe off it'll make my countertops nice and white and new looking so that's what i'm doing while i'm letting that dawn power wash um dish detergent sit on my stove for a little bit just let that soak into the grease so it's a little bit more easier to clean i have my little salt container here i love this little salt container i think i got this at family dollar or dollar general this is a cute little salt holder i do need to add more salt in it but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and play some music and we're just gonna clean my stove and countertops so let's continue So we're here back at our stove cleaning it. Um, I also want to quickly say, I know we are like, what, 21 minutes into this video. And I did not really have a time slot in this video to say anything. But if you made it this long and you notice like I have a bruises inside of my arm area by my elbow, like inside of it, I do not want you to think the worst. Worse. <laughs> I don't want you to think the worst. I donate plasma, okay? So those scars, if I... I go regularly to donate plasma. You know, I am a single mother. I'm, you know, any extra money like that really does help and it pays well. And it's just a very short um, amount of my time that I'm offering and I'm helping others. So please don't think the worst. I, you know, it's plasma donations, okay? Cause I know what that can look like and I know it looks bad. So I wanted to say something. I wish I could have put this into the beginning of the video. But yeah, hopefully you made it this far and you can hear, you know, my explanation for it. So please don't think the worst. It's completely the opposite. Okay, I'm so clean. I can donate plasma. <laughs> All right. So yeah, here I am. I'm using this little scraper tool. I love this little thing. I've seen someone else on their cleaning video use this. And I'm like, I need one. So I ordered it on Amazon. Of course, I found one that has pink with it <laughs> on it. Look at this. This is still burnt on. I was able to get most of it off, but I'm going, like I said, I'm gonna have to get that oven cleaner to really, you know, penetrate into that crust to, you know, lift it off. But this really does help for right now. All right, let's go ahead and play some more music and just enjoy the cleaning video, I guess. Mm -hmm.
heart's beat to the city streets we begin to feel the fire we rise like tall buildings as the chemicals they take us higher the night's young and it's just begun as she puts her hand in mine does need more of a deep cleaning but if you can look at my clock it's already 7 35 p.m. I need to go ahead and get dinner started so I'm gonna go ahead and put the top of the stove back on y'all I want to spend another day deep cleaning my stove I bought the oven cleaner the great value oven cleaner but this spray on here it does not spray right so I just I was not able to use this the last time I tried it so I'm just gonna have to go ahead and spend a little bit extra and get the name brand because the Great Value brand, it does not spray well for me. So that will be another video of me using, so that will be another video of me using the oven cleaner for my stove.
Dishwasher draining. Okay, I guess I'm gonna have to respray that. Come on. Okay, so here I am. I'm just going to go ahead and clean my sink some. I'm using this Dawn antibacterial dish detergent along with that Clorox spray. I'm using one hand because I'm holding the camera with the other so you can have a better view. So it's not getting perfectly done, but it's just, you know, I mean, what can I say? It's getting done. <laughs> Maybe not perfect, but we're doing what we can with one hand right now. I really need to get a rolling cart for this countertop dishwasher because it's taken a lot of my sink space and you know I just I need my sink space what can I say <laughs> you know it's really in my way too of my arms when I'm doing dishes so I really need to save up for a rolling cart to stick it on so I can just put it in the corner somewhere and roll it out when I need it don't you ever just hate this every single time I do dishes my clothes get soaking wet the counters, like everything, the floors get soaking wet. Like water splashes every single where. Like who can relate to that? Because it looks like after I'm done doing dishes, it looks like I was playing in the hose outside and then like my shirt is <laughs> soaking wet. This time I tried really hard to keep it dry. So we'll see. We'll see how it comes out. But um, yeah, I found this little thing where I keep my sponge and my soap on. I just need to kind of like scrub it down a little bit, freshen it up. So that's what I'm doing now. This this long draining pipe for the dishwasher, it's in the way. It is in the way big time. Okay, just drying this again. Everything gets so, so wet. I'm telling you, like water splashes everywhere. It's, I mean, look, it got on the dishwasher everywhere. It's all behind it. So I'm just gonna fold my towel, lay it here and move along. Okay, so my kitchen is done. All I really have left to do is just wait for the dishes to dry that I hand washed and now my dishwasher is on the fan cycle to dry those dishes in there. Once that's dried, I just have to put it up. I am going to wait to sweep my floors and possibly maybe mop after I cook dinner. Um, like I said, I did not do a deep cleaning of my stove because I cook too much on it. If I'm not cooking, my daughter is cooking up some kind of a concoction, playing with food on the stove, making a mess also. And um, so I'm going to wait until I get the name brand of the oven cleaner because that Great Value one does not spray right. I already tried it. Not in this video, but before. Um, so the stove is not perfectly clean, but it's clean enough for me to at least start cooking and not have anything catch on fire, <laughs> you know? So um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm still working on my Alani. I am burning up in here. But yeah. So if you like this type of content, please consider subscribing, turn on your post notification bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. If you're interested in my type of content, which is mom life vlogs, daily, weekly vlogs, cleaning videos, cook with me videos. Um, so I would eventually like to do some videos of my daughter and I getting into some food reviews, like trying weird, strange, trying weird, strange foods from like here in the United States and from around the world. So I would like to start doing videos of that. 
if any of that interests you please go ahead and subscribe and be on the lookout for part two because part two is the recipe which i'm about to do now but it'll just be in a separate video and that is the creamy parmesan garlic mushroom chicken it's late y'all it is 7 51 it's gonna be a late night dinner but that's okay because i want to get this cooked today it's gonna be plenty of leftovers so tomorrow i don't have to worry about cooking we'll probably just eat leftovers either for lunch or dinner so we don't have to worry about a meal for either lunch or dinner and yeah that's the plan so be on the lookout this cooking video will be right after this and thanks for watching take care